This is a short video guide for the recognition of Aeschylus Indica. The bark of this tree is typically light grey to light brown, uh, becoming really rough plated as the tree matures. The erect pyramidal flowering head of Aeschylus Indica holds a number of rather delicate pale flowers with long stamens emerging from them, often with a light reddish to pink tinge to the tops of the petals. Uh, noticeably slenderer uh, and more delicate than Aeschylus Hippocastinum flowers. And the fruit that develops from these flowers is a pale green, relatively smooth, often ovoid in shape. On the spray the compound leaves are held in opposite pairs and they're noticeably more slender and elongate and more elegant than Aeschylus hippocastinum. The leaves generally more glossy and less crenulated. A close up of the leaf shows that it is typically bears five to seven uh, lanceolate leaflets so it's uh, compound palmate and these when compared with Aeschylus hippocastinum are more delicately uh, rounded generally narrower and smoother and more glossy. The form of the tree is typically broad but not developing very heavy limbs unlike Aeschylus hippocastinum which is notorious for developing a large number of elbowed heavy limbs lower down in the crown. And the winter buds in opposite pairs often with a large terminal bud and these generally a paler orangey brown and quite often with a whitish bloom or resin associated with them and typically not as sticky as Aeschylus hippocastinum buds. 